hey everyone um yeah someone had written us and we were trying to help them last week and ran into little complexities with it but we were trying to basically make it where you can dynamically update a hot string uh, without reloading your script or saving it and doing everything yeah. else and so Isaiah was walking me through it I was giving him crap because I'm like I'm, I don't see like, I, I just don't have the the, what it boils <laughs> yeah. down to right yeah so exactly me, I'm like but yeah, I understand. <laughs> like, go on. <laughs> no, I, I, just to say, just to say it this way, that function was not there before, and yeah. it was so so much. Everybody was requesting it so much that Lexicos had to add it. So you, well, yeah. Yeah, after what fourteen years? Yeah, that must have yeah. been really. Um, no, no. <laughs> well. You know, Lexicos <laughs> takes that time anyways, right? <laughs> so no. so in, in any case, like, like yeah. so this is the example of what I was trying to do uh, live. The only thing is that yeah. the program that I was using to do it had a little bug that didn't per didn't allow me to show it. So it was not that what we were doing was wrong. Yeah. It was my program that was having a specific So problem. to clarify, he wanted, A, it to dynamically get updated without having to say that, but B, was to have it context sensitive. Right, so those, those are two things. Yeah. So right now, let's go ahead and start without the context sensitivity, yeah. right? So uh, this is also for the context sensitivity. It's not needed. Now, and if you're normally using hot strings with context sensitivity, you'd usually use a directive and right, put it yeah. before it. Uh, right. But because of this, we're doing it. What we're doing is a little bit different. So I will show the the, the difference on that. But basically, you have this way of defining a hot string and you have the new way, which is a function, which is the one that you say, why would we need that? Okay. Now, the idea is after you have this, when you set up your script with this way of setting it up, if you make changes to it, you have to reload the script. In the case that you just have a script with a bunch of hot strings, that doesn't make any difference. But if it is a program that you're creating, that has other information, reloading the script might lose something that you don't want to lose. So there, we might need something to modify this on the fly. So uh, what I did is I created the hot string and then a hot key, the hot key calls the hot string command and modifies the hot string to something else. So test, first sets testing, and then it would say this is a new test. So I go ahead and run my script um, I go ahead and type test space and it said testing. So I know that my hot string is working fine. Now I press F1 and now I type test again and I go ahead and say new test. So, so just because I press F1, it actually changed the hot string. And basically now, you could use this in many interesting ways. If you were to, if on line two had an F2 with the colons, would that have overwritten it again or no? Do you have to set it up the same way it's on line seven? Hold on. So let me see something. In line two, I, if I had test like this? No. F2. Oh, sorry. F2. As a hotkey, just like you do F2, on F5 on line five. Like this? Right. Yeah. Um, That would not do anything. Oh, no. So the hot... Nah. Let, me, let me double check what will happen. Yeah. Because I, I, what I say, what I know is that if you don't have a return anywhere, it will fall through. What I don't know is what is going to happen when I press F2 with a hot string. Well, but with a hot string, it shouldn't. That. Yeah, right. No, That's exactly. Great. So it's not going to do anything there. It's going to continue down, and then it's going to change it too. So basically, test, it says testing. F2, it didn't change it. You see? So what happens is that at the end, so this is acting as a return. Well, add a There's return on line four, and let's see if it's still... No, but in that case, that hot string command is never going to be called. Well, with the F1, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, with F1, yes. But with F2, it's not going to do anything. Well, it, all right, hit F1, run it. Okay, so let me run it. Oh, sorry. Minus that? testing. Just a, oh, right. 12. <laughs> yeah. Always a problem when you're live working. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, I say test, right? So it's, it has testing in it. Now, what do you want me to do? Press F2? No, F1. F1. I have F1. There you go. Okay. And now? And now now go hit F2. F2. And now it, it doesn't revert back. Is that what you're saying? No, exactly. It, it cannot revert back because this thing is it, not read again. That is read only once. Well, and that's, that, that's, yeah. that was, that's what my point was. You'd have right. to write it as line eight is in order exactly. to... Exactly. So, so, so you would have to use the function to actually rerun, rerun it. So basically that is the idea behind 
the function because now I could have like two hot strings. Um, F1 does one thing and F2 does another one. This is, uh, this is test. Yeah, let's say you, well, right. let's say some, for instance, you're bilingual by any chance, right? Yeah, Crazy. yeah. But you it would allow you to, to simply type the same thing. Oh, I need to send this in Spanish. Right. You still type the language. Actually, let's say you're not bilingual, but you look right. these up, right? That's the beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So, so type the uh, English, the language you're right. used to. So, so basically, I could do I could do F1 to go ahead and figure out the language of my browser, and depending on the language, it would give me a different type of thing. So that's the interesting thing about the hot string function that allows you to dynamically change the hot string live, and um, you know on the fly, which is the idea. But yep. the other secondary question was whether we could do it right. uh, context sensitive, which is true, we can with this weird command. So the hotkey command is a command that you can use to create hotkeys. And part of it had the if win active directive in it. Now, <laughs> that, so, so you could use the hotkey command to create a key like letter A and the label that you wanted and so on. But one of the things that you could do was the if we active with it. And now the interesting thing is that that way of adding the if we active also affects the function. That's what is going on. So this is a side effect that as when they did the function, they didn't add the functionality for having it context sensitivity, but this happened to work. And then they decided, okay, we're gonna keep it like that for now. It so now it is like that. Um, I'm going to set the title match mode to two for the notepad window. So now I go ahead and run it. Um, sorry. Now let me add my test. Testing. There we go. Um, and now we run it. So now if I, uh, hold on. Oh, because yeah, of course, test here is not case, is not sensitive to <laughs> the wind notepad, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this, Whoa. press the F1 button. So I have it. Now, if I press test, there's nothing working right now, right? I'm going to press F1 and nothing works either. But if I go to notepad and press test, then I should have the test in there, not in the yeah, other one. It, it, to be a to uh, to do it properly mm -hmm. um, in what he was saying we shouldn't have a hotkey at all right right exactly so so we shouldn't have the hotkey yeah and you should have the 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 regular test up above before that and then when you type test it says testing um let's do it this way and i think this should be Because I think as it has this content sensitivity already added, I think it keeps it. So right now, test does nothing. If I go to notepad, it says test. It, oh, no, it's not working. Oh, well, <laughs> the thing is that I put the same, the same thing here. Didn't look like it. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, notepad says, testing. So my hot string is working there, right? If I go here, it shouldn't work, right? Here doesn't work. So I know that this worked. Now, when I do the F1, this is the part that I'm kind of like wondering, if I do the F1, if I say F1, I know that, hold on, test. It says testing, hold on, did it update it? No, because, oh, because I do have to have the same context for modifying it. That's interesting. That's interesting. So I'm gonna put it down here. Return. But, you cannot modify it if it is not in the same context. It would actually just add a new one. I don't, I just new. still don't understand why at all you're, for this example with what he asked, why you mm -hmm. have a hot key. Uh, to dynamically change the hot string because that's what the question is all about, to change it from testing to this is the new test dynamically. Okay. Right, so the, the only thing is that if I have a context sensitive hot string to modify it, I have to use the same context because if I use it without the context, 
it is considered a different hot stream, which is what the context do. So right now, well, couldn't you get rid of line four um, and line seven? Would that have all this saying... like like that? Like have the whole no? Because the there is an implicit return right there. Okay. Right. So there is a return there, even though I haven't written it. Which is also weird then, because... Right. But the, the F1... The the F1, F1 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. The, the, the F1 Stay. would have... Yeah. But in general, what the point is, yes, it is doable. The idea is just that the way how you set the context sensitivity... So I have test not working here. If I go to Notepad... I go and say test. This is working, right? Now I'm going to press F1. And now test should give me the new, the new thing. Exactly. Yeah, and and actually, uh, exactly. And in here, it shouldn't work either. Right. So basically, everything is working fine. But remember, if you already set a context to a hotkey or a hot string, Whenever you modify it, you have to have the same context. If not, you're referring to a different something, right? Yeah, different, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what that's what's going on. But in general, yes, it is. It is something that, as you said, not everybody would have the need for this. But it uh, it opens a bunch of possibilities because I could have a GUI in which you put your things. When you hit OK, you create a hot stream. That's what's it. What's a GUI? <laughs> we have a course for that. <laughs> we actually have a course that explains what it is. <laughs> Thankfully, you have it in your your notes here on the URL. So it's a the dash automator slash com GUI. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I hope this helps anybody that is wondering yeah. about it. Again, you can do the same with hotkeys as well. But it's hotkey, and then you can have a key and. What, uh, whatever command you're going to run right there. It, it might be a, a label or something like that. But yeah, just take a look at that, play with it, and see what you can do. Awesome. I'll, I'll get right on it. <laughs> In your case, I know that you, you're like, that enter from one ear comes out the other because well, you're not going to use this. Like, no, that's just, right. Yeah. You and, just and reload it, right? I mean, I'm knocking <laughs> it, but I don't mean it purposely, right? I'm joking. I don't know. I don't, just I don't, for me, I don't. yeah, it just the need. I've never even had that need so that's why i'm like i just but, don't but see the value but I, in, I get one of, it. in my program like the one that i made 10 years ago we didn't have that so i was forced to and i was wondering i was wondering like why can't i do that because i can do many other things uh, on the fly but why yeah. can't i do that well well and i know from talking to jean and qap that he would you know save he would save the pile the file and then run it after as what he was doing at least with some of the stuff yeah, um, but yeah, it it's uh it's interesting issue. Right. Yeah. <laughs>